Morning guys. Um, what I'm going to do this video today, I had some other stuff that I wanted to do, but this is the direction that the, that the Lord gave me, so kind of here I am. Um, it's about the importance of prayer. And a while back, I got several things. I'm going to make this video, try to make this video very, very brief, because um, some of mine could be a little bit too long. Prayer, plan, purpose, and provision. This is going to be birthed in prayer, guys. The world doesn't want to hear the truth. That includes a lot of the church. They don't want to hear the name of Jesus. You don't get this stuff if you're not connected to the vine brain. It's a very, very, very important piece of it. The start. Because that saying, you know, straight from the horse's mouth, well, in this case, you can go straight to the source. Of that pure, clean, living water in Revelation 22. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Holy Spirit and the Word. We've got to pray, guys. We've got to plan. We've got the purpose. And we've got the provision. So the prayer is our connection with God. So we can start getting the direction. So we can get his plan. And then we get his purpose. Which is to live a godly life. To set the captives free. Whatever he's purposed for you as a vessel. Me. Maybe a little different. It's all part of the body. But it may be a little bit different. <clears throat> it's like. You know. I gotta, somebody has to collect my garbage. So there has to be a truck driver. There has to be the guy that picks it up. Okay, I need, we need crossing guards to keep our children safe. We need the police to keep our streets safe. We need, we do need, unfortunately, we do need the political system and po politics. We need all those things. We need schools. But they've got to be birthed in prayer, guys. This has gotten, let's just, let's just all agree on this. This has gotten into insane levels of nonsense. Just amped up by this stuff, which is what I'm on right now. I put out a message about how the enemy's coming against the body of Christ in the natural because he knows he can't win in the spiritual. It's out of Isaiah 27, 1, twisted. <clears throat> I got that in prayer, guys. Lots of prayer. I'm not saying I'm anything better. I'm not, none of that. We've all got to do the same thing. So you better get your answer in prayer. That's the first start. <clears throat> Then the second one <clears throat> is the plan. You've got to know the plan, God's plans. Plans for a future hope for you. There's so many things here, guys, that God has planned for us. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor have entered in the hearts of man what God has in store for those that love him. <clears throat> it's in there, guys. It's in the book. It's purpose was Jesus to set you free. We couldn't get there, guys. Where were we before he came? Where was mankind? And then the provision, we've taken that way out of context. It's the blood of the lamb. It's his word. You know, we, we, we think it's in cars and lands and trains and buses and planes and whatever to get, you know, I'm going to have a million man march. You know, I just preached and set a million people free. Really? Okay, great. <clears throat> better be birthed in prayer, guys. It better be part of God's plan. It better be his purpose, and then it becomes his provision. 
not, you know, not being ignorant, naive, and all that other stuff. You know, if I, he does sometimes in prayer, you know, give me some random city, sometimes it's a state, but I'll have to Google it, and it exists, and he'll send me on a mission there with not a lot. Sometimes, sometimes with a lot of details, sometimes with very little details. Well, you know what? I have a car to get there, and I gotta have gas, and I have the time, and all. You know, there's a lot of things that have to be, be in there, so. But we can't look at that provision. We have to look at it in the spirit. So it's all birthed in prayer, guys. And I'm telling you, that's where it starts. Prayer, his plan, his purpose, and his provision. It's all about him. And right now, the world doesn't really care. They're just going on like there's, you know, everything's going to go back to normal. Or they're just looking for, that's just crazy stuff, guys. It's going on. You know that it is. And it's been really amped up. That's one of the comments about the one that I put out about the enemies coming against us in the natural because he can't win in the he knows he can't win in the spiritual. So we said, well, you know, you can read your Bible, it's been happening for two thousand years. Of course it has. But it's amped up with all this stuff. Technology, phones, computers, you know, everything's Instant potatoes. God wants your ability. Not your, God didn't want your ability, he wants your availability. Are you available to listen and pray? And seek his face. Turn from your wicked ways. All of those, and it's all good. It's all in the book. Love you guys. Let's start with that. Let's start with prayer. One of the keys and the most important pieces, because you're not going to get anything, any kind of substance. You're not going to get a plan. You're not going to get a purpose. You're not going to get his direction. You're not going to get his provision. Love you guys. Um, talk to you soon. I'm going to put out some more smaller, shorter videos. That's my main goal. Love you guys.